Hello everyone, this is Venu Gopal. Today in this session, we are going to see how to write a first C program using some IDEs. In my previous videos, we have seen to learn a C programming language, what are the basic steps that we required. And finally, we have reached to the final level that how to write the program. So let us start practically and we'll see how exactly we'll write our first C program. So as you know that a program means these are the set of instructions is called as a program. Now to write this C program, we are having number of editors. The editors are called as IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development environment number of editors are available in the market to write down the c programming programs in c language for example the most famous editor ide is turbo c or turbo c plus plus this is the most famous and a very uh, recommended a basic editor to learn a C programming language. Second is like Dev C++. This is one more advanced IDE which is also highly used to write down these C programs. One more thing is Code Blocks. This is also an editor. Likewise, a number of editors are available or else you can also if you're not having, you don't want to install any software, then you can go for online editors as well. Editors or you can say that IDEs. So from this, what we will see uh, here uh, today, I'm going to give the demonstration by using the Turbo C++ editor. That is nothing but IDE. So let us start. Parallelly, we will implement one small program. Uh, how to write a C program using this Turbo C++. For that purpose, the first of all, you need to have a software Turbo C or C++ onto your machine. So for that purpose, you can Google out. You can go to the Google and you can directly say download Turbo C++ and then you can download the software. Then the shortcut icon like this will be created. Turbo C++. Double click on this. It will open up the editor like this. This is the blue screen editor, a most popular editor for writing the C or C++ programs. Okay, so uh, in the above, you're seeing these all are the menus, right? And uh, time to time we will see what are the functionalities of these different all menus. So first of all, we have to write one program. So here, whenever I want to write the C program or C++ program, right, we need to include some already inbuilt libraries. Like for sake, I'm just writing stdio.h. Hash include stdio.h. This stdio.h is a header file. This is called as what? It is an header file, which is already been made because already we have discussed in my beginning, whenever I want to write any programs, we have already discussed what this is my source program. Source program is whatever the logic I just wanted to write the program. And I want to in, give this to the machine. And we already learned that the machine can understand only what a machine language or binary language. Suppose it's my machine that is called a computer. Let us assume it's a computer. Now, whatever the source program or what are the input I, am, I want to give to this machine that has to be understood by this machine and source program, whatever I am writing, that program I am writing in which language? High level language. High level language. But this high level language is not going to be understand by the machine. So this language has to be converted to what? Machine level language. So to convert this machine level language, we need one translator that we have already discussed in my some previous videos. If you're not getting, please go and watch my previous videos. So we'll have some compiler. We have seen in high level language, we are having what? Compiler is a translator. So what I'm doing here, I'm giving 
input this source program and it's giving just to this compiler compiler will translate that particular language and convert it into what a machine understandable language machine language and after processing this machine language it will return back that language back to the through this compiler only it will return back to the source program again and what what uh, that's what we are getting some output okay so this compiler has made some inbuilt libraries to do some this particular task for example for printing for reading uh, i want to print something onto the screen if i want to read something onto the uh, from the screen then it has made it some uh, functions okay so this is one function so this stdio.h stands for standard input output header file standard input means whatever the input we are going to view output whatever the things we want to display on the screen right it stands for that and after that if you consider any c program or any uh, c++ program it should contains at least this c program may consisting of number of functions okay we will discuss each and everything don't bother about anything any program any c program consisting of number of functions but it has to consisting of one function compulsorily and that is called as a main function that means what whatever the logic you want to write you have to write inside this main function only this is called as what this is called as a main function inside this only you need to write that logic now here suppose as a first program i just wanted to print some output like hello this is my first program i just wanted to print so printing anything onto the screen we are having some uh, syntaxes because programming language everything is having some syntax some proper structure we need to follow that only so if i want to print if i want to print on output screen so in c there is one built in function is available built in function means already built already it has built it right we are just using so what is that function i am writing here printf in the bracket how to write down that particular function i am just telling you and double quotes and inside this it has some format specifier format specifier and this is optional angular brackets means what this format specifier is optional in your printf but it is compulsory part of scanf that we are going to see okay so printf this is what this is the syntax of printing anything on the output screen if i want to print a hello so i have to use this particular syntax and then it will be going and display the string onto the output screen so this printf is the ready made function right so this ready made function is already built in in your some libraries and that library is nothing but we have already included that is called as the stdio.h header file so in this stdio header file this printf function has been defined so that is the reason why at the first line of your program we are what we are doing we are including this particular header file hey compilers you see i have included this include stdio.h now you can use this printf function so don't throw any error if i am not using this kind of functions so first function let us see how it is going to execute so now here if i want to print c printf same i am using double quotes whatever the string you are going to write inside this double quotes that exactly it goes and print on to the screen okay for example i am writing here hello this is my first c program that's it and this program i am going to save how to save this file either you can click on this f file button or else shortcut button is alt f go to the save folder and here in place of no name you can write like first c program and dot enter see the program name has been changed by default extension you might be observing this is a cpp extension if you want you can change it to dot c only 
okay so i have not changed that thing so it's by default it has taken as a cpp now observe carefully what is the thing we need this is the high level language that means what the language which we can understand but we know that this language is not understandable by the machines so what we need to do we need to send this to the translator and we know that in high level language what is our translator our translator is compiler so compiler will do both the tasks the first task is what your all this high level language will be converted into your uh, machine level language that is we call as a object file and second thing is what if this source program consisting of any error suppose you are doing any mistake in this particular source code then it will be pop up with that particular errors and it will tell hey you are missing something you please correct and execute back so how to compile this program so here at the top of the screen you might be observing this compile click on compile you are seeing this compile and the shortcut button is alter plus f9 either you click on this or you can click on alt plus f9 i'll enter on this now observe carefully main file the file name is what first c program it's not showing it has some limitation of the uh character spacing that is the reason why it is showing some limited dot cpp editor is this it is showing how many lines compile 315 but you might have observed only we have written approximately seven or eight lines right but this is showing this many lines warning is zero errors are zero it is telling that the compilation has done successfully no error you can go ahead okay now if i want to see the output now i have converted i have not executed so there are two parts whenever you are executing your program you need to compile your program first like what we did here and after that once it is been compiled successfully then you have to run this file so for running this program you have to enter what control plus f9 and i have entered the button look the output is already displayed but we are not able to see this that one if you want to see here i am pressing alt plus f5 button on my keyboard and you can observe the output see hello this is my first c program but at the same time you might be seeing the other stuff also i don't want that i just want whenever i'll run the program it should be a clear screen so how to do that again in c programming in this turbo c++ we are having few more functions to clear the screen function the one function is i'm writing here that is clr scr this is a function semicolon so this function stands for what you might have guessed clear screen that means what it clears the output screen okay so let us again compile see this time you are facing one error now to enter you see the error is what a function clr scr should have a prototype that means what you are directly using some function without telling to the compiler ki what kind of function is this right for example in for the printf we know that the definition of the printf has been stored where it is stored in stdio.h similarly it's unable to find ki where is the definition of clr scr the compiler is unable to find so for that purpose we have to include one more header file include the header file name is conio.h conio.h now what is this conio dot h see this forward to slide uh, slash lines whatever i'm using this uh, these are called as a comments comments means the statement which are followed by these two forward slash lines is unable to see by the compiler that that they these comments are for only for us to understand so this is what a console conio dot h stands for console input output header file now what do you mean by console console is nothing but so you have compiled now you might have observed the lines has been increased the lines are now 463 initially it was around 315 
so that means for by the including of just this one statement that is this conio dot h right around 100 lines has been increased that means what this clr scr would be written in some 100 lines then only we are getting the functionality of that clr scr chalo compile then i am executing observe the screen is not halting it's not hold right so to see the output again i am pressing alt n f5 see the magic this time you are getting the clear output screen and this black screen whatever the output you are getting here this is called as a console this exactly output where you are seeing now this output this screen is called as a console so what i did here i have cleared the screen before printing the message if you see this code see i have used clr scr at the beginning of this particular function after this main at the first line and after that i am printing this printf and something else right whatever the you you will print here right for example i'll just write one more line welcome save it compile it executing see the program is executing but the screen is not halting i just want the screen should halt i don't want to press every time alter plus f5 see the output is hello this is my first c program and then welcome enter i want the screen should halt until and unless i will press any key on the keyboards for that purpose we are having one more function it's called as a get ch function stands for get character that means what for what purpose we are using this particular thing it halts it halts the output screen or console you can say screen till we press any key on the keyboard it halts the output screen until we'll press any key on the keyboard and this get ch definition is also the clr scr and this get ch definition both the definitions are stored inside where inside conio.h only okay now see now i have compiled then see the magic now if i'll execute the run button if i'll click on the red run button earlier the screen was not hold it's not not hold for some time right we need to press what uh, every time alter plus F uh, f9 but see now this time i have not pressed any key directly it's showing the output and the screen will be halt till what till you press any of the key on your keyboard that's the magic of this get ch and get ch stands for what get character stands for get character i hope you are getting so here we have seen how many functions one is printf function which is used to print the output next one we have seen what clr scr to clear output screen and then we have seen what we have seen the get ch function this is stands for get care it halts the output screen till you enter the any key on the keyboard and this get ch and get uh, clr sr functions they are available in which header file they are available in conio.h header file that is the reason why we need to include this header file hash include header file so these both functions are written and defined inside this hash include now what exactly mean by this hash include one more thing this hash include is nothing but this is called as a preprocessor directive preprocessor you can say preprocessor directive Preprocessor means what? Before compilation, these header files will be executed what? Before compilation, 
right means before compilation the compiler will know right ki there are two functions which we are going to use in our program for example in this program before compilation right this two header files will be executed and they come to know okay fine clr scr get cs are used no problem because the programmer already included in this particular program so i know that okay and for example see if i'll not include this std or dot h if i'll not include this conio dot h see now the code is only for what around 5 to 6 lines of code now if i'll write if i'll compile this now the compiler will throw errors see the function clr should have a prototype prototype means what declaration printf should have a prototype get ch should have a prototype that means it's unable to find out ki hey why you have use clr scr because you need to tell everything to the compiler before using into the program because compiler is only only that person which is going to convert your code into the machine level language and it is only the mediator between you and your computer so that is the reason why you have to mandatorily use this particular functions now depending upon the editors for example if you use dev c++ in dev c++ you no need to include the clr scr and get cs because there are some somewhat advanced ides right which already included the clr scr get cs inbuiltly no need of clearing screen every time or no need of using get cs every time so this is a basic editor that is the reason why it's very good to learn the things in this particular editor if i want to print one more statement you can use one more time no problem you can use number of times okay for example if i if i want to uh, print like we are ready to learn c language but see the output now how many statements we have used two statements means two print of statements back to back right but whenever you are going to execute this i just want see the output first then i will tell you the output is coming continuously means i am expecting after welcome actually i am expecting my output in the next line right but it is not going to display like that if you are not giving some any special characters okay because whatever the screen size is there it will take the output likewise but suppose if you want to print the next line or for example this we are ready to learn c language then we can use some manipulators i am using here backslash n so this backslash n is stands for it is called as a new line character it's a new line character that means what whenever the program is by default it will executed sequentially from main it will come to clr cr after that first statement after that second statement after that get ch then end up the scope and it will be terminated your program so the moment this line will be finished for example welcome and semicolon semicolon means terminator means every line must be end with the semicolon so whenever it terminates what happen it comes to this line now it comes to this line and what if it will do at first it is seeing what backslash n the moment compiler will see this backslash n immediately it will shift into the next line okay so that is the reason why if i again compile this program see the output now after welcome after welcome see it is shifting to the new line and we are printing the data in the next line so it's called as a new character new line characters likewise we are having number of functionalities one by one as we are moving ahead into this programming language we will learn so many things just in this program i just wanted to show ki how to use this basic editor and i just want to introduce if something if i want to print a message onto the screen so how to do that with the help of print okay i hope that you have got the idea and suppose if i want to close this uh, program so simply go to the file again and then you can quit from here okay if i if i like enter this it will go to the prompt 
editor prompt see c turbo c3 bin this is a path of your uh, software and simply here write you exit it will exit from your screen that's it as simple as that i hope you have got an idea uh, to write your first c program just try for this this do practice in my next video we'll come with more functions like scanf how to take the input from the user then we will print some more and we'll try to develop one simple program using this all basic functions so thank you very much for watching okay bye bye we'll see you in the next video thank you